after doing the integration of exponential function now we are going to do the integration of a natural exponential function about which we know that it has the Euler number in the base as you can see it is there in the base e that has a certain constant value which is equal to this so this was a reminder of what the natural exponential function is and the process is the same if we remember the formula of the exponential function we can also do this because the formula is the same instead of a we are going to write e this is the only new thing that we have here so when we write e here this natural log of e will become 1 and it will disappear in the product in the next step so the formula is uh, slightly uh, brief as compared to what we had in the exponential function so it is in done in the similar way you can see that I have applied the same formula by writing the same function once and then writing the derivative in the denominator and writing the natural log of the base in the denominator this is equal to 1 which disappears in the product in the next step so this is the formula that we can use now we have the ex uh, numerical example uh, which is uh, going to be done with the help of this certain example so after writing the integration uh, we are going to apply the formula the same function as it is while the 13 is the constant which is kept outside its constant nature of a coefficient so we have kept it outside and uh, we take the derivative of the exponent which is 4x and which is equal to 4 whereas this will remain as it was before and 13 will remain outside finally this 4 comes outside and we get 13 over 4 and this function as it is remains now this is the solution of the uh, natural exponential function when we integrate it and now we are going to make the graphs pre and post graphs to see what happens so this is the graph where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable this is the actual function that we have integrated and this is the post integration result and here we have assumed that c is equal to 1 for the sake of convenience and when we plot these uh, two functions they appear in an exponential growth manner because the exponent is positive as you can see it is 4x which definitely is greater than 0 so uh, the green line gets shifted downwards perhaps due to the division by 4 because division can reduce the value and as you can see it is now uh, appearing in this way however the pattern is the same that is exponential growth so pre and post analysis of the exp natural exponential function shows us the same pattern that is the exponential growth so this was about the process of solving a function which is natural exponential in nature and we did its integration in economic analysis we can confront situations where natural exponential function is there and we have to integrate it that's where we can use this rule of integration thank you